whenever we were almost dating, he was like, Catherine Cop, I'm gonna marry you. And that was his whole intention during dating and everything. He knew he was gonna marry me. And it was the sweetest thing. And to have somebody choose you through everything, it's the most powerful example of love and the love of Christ for us and just the love he has for me is just an outpouring of that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Obviously, I was not prepared for this day, maybe ever, but um, it is, uh, it's a great day. And uh, we're very fortunate, very fortunate to have you, Catherine. I'll never forget, I was in the delivery room and I first laid eyes on you. I knew I was hooked. I fell in love with you right then. They are two people who will drop anything and everything for their friends, for their family, and it's because the Lord is so deeply rooted in their relationship. And I feel so lucky to have been a part of y'all's relationship and watch it grow over the past three years. told me, he said, I'm about to call Gary and I'm going to ask him if I can date Kat. And I was like, you're about to do what? <laughs> this is, what, 2015? Do people do that anymore? <laughs> but that, I mean, that goes back to show the level of character that Shaq has. And I mean, that says something within itself. And he goes, yeah, Gary told me I could date her. I was like, good luck. <laughs> Oh, that'll make for a nice birdie. I actually wrote him this letter my junior year of high school, I think. And uh, I didn't know who he was at the time, but I just wrote it to my future husband. And it's so sweet. And then I wrote him a letter this morning, and that's on the back. I remember when you and Catherine first, first started talking. I honestly never questioned your feelings toward her, not even for a moment. You literally would tell me, bro, I think she's the one, almost after every time you guys hung out. That's all I could talk about. It was just cat this, cat that. Just over and over, cat this, I think she's the one. Oh my gosh. She's telling us about this guy she's talking to. <laughs> and his name is Shaq Lefford, And we're like, how do you spell that? <laughs> Can we go back through that? <laughs> but the main thing that stood out, and I think it speaks so highly of your character, Shaq, is the cops had gone to visit for a football game and you hung back and made it a point to really have conversation with them and invest and get to know them and that meant the world to Catherine. And then she pulled out a strapless plane plane and I was like, this is it. Yep. <laughs> There's something special about Shaq and Kat together. They have such a joy they radiate the joy of christ and all they do i mean they're so fun you never sit with them and don't die laughing and then this was my grandmother's handkerchief that she carried on her wedding day back in so long ago Some words of wisdom for you two. Work hard, play hard. <laughs> Never lose your sense of humor. 
and don't take life too seriously. They preserve their I love you's for their engagement and their bodies for their marriage night. And for that, I am thankful and celebrate with you. This is from, this is from 1982. My dad's been saving it for my wedding. It's such an honor to stand by you on this day. And we cannot wait to see what you and Jack do in the future. Cheers, baby. Some ships are small, but that ships are friendships. Cheers to Jack, he has this grand plan. He's like, I'm going to propose in New York. I'm coming to New York. Let's make it work. And in that moment, I was like, this man loves my best friend so much. I didn't eat the entire day, and I was waiting behind a rock by Bow Bridge and I was following her dot on Find My Friends and I saw her coming up on the bridge and I could see her walking and she had no idea what was going on. Then I kind of popped out from behind this rock and she about started crying. And, and so he said, I love you, Catherine Worth Cop. And then got down on a knee, opened up the ring box in Central Park and um, looked up at me and that's it. He didn't say anything else. And I looked down, I looked down at him and I was like, Aren't you supposed to ask me something? And, and so then I asked her to be my, to be my wife, and um, the rest is history. Now we're getting married today. And I was just on top of the world. I just couldn't believe it. It feels like a, like a, like just a happy, like blur. It was just so wonderful. Just know that I love you, and I'm patiently saving a special love in my heart for you. It's the kind of intimate love only meant for a husband and a wife, and I am saving it all for you. It's hard to even put into words how much you mean to me because you are truly a gift from God. Always will be, no matter if you're a married lady or not. So Shaq and Catherine, one more reminder that the home that you are going to build is going to be the one built on love. The foundation, Jesus Christ. It is the basis and it is the crowning virtue of love that will sustain you for all of your days. of you. Like I said, you stole my heart the day you were born. Now I got to turn you over to somebody else. <laughs> you sure look pretty. My goodness gracious. You dress up nice. Congratulations. I shack. Take thee, Catherine. Take thee, Catherine. To be my wife. To be my wife. I, Catherine. Take thee, shack. Take thee, shack. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. So beautiful. In the bad that 
may darken our days. In the bad that may darken our days. In the good that may light our ways. In the good that may light our ways. And to live and love you. And to live and to love you. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. And I'm just so, so thankful for you both. So, here is to the soon to be Mr. and Mrs. Heppies. And also, the, I guess the main thing is remember. It's the journey, not the destination. And I want you all to work on your marriage as hard as you all worked on everything else in life and you shouldn't have any problems. There is not one doubt in my mind about the passion and love you guys possess for one another. Y'all's love is contagious, and it radiates far and wide. But don't ever get content with the feelings you guys share now. Your love will grow, and the best is yet to come. Every challenge you face from here on forward to every step stone in life's path you guys have with each other and me. I pray God's many blessings on you guys and that you just have an amazing happy marriage and it's just a gift of grace and um, a picture of Jesus in the church and that's what we all want for you. So uh, here's to Shaq and Cat. I just hope that y'all will continue to love each other as we have and as I know your mom and dad do with each other. pronounce you husband and wife, Shaq, for the first time ever. You may kiss Catherine, your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the very first time Mr. Shaq and Miss Catherine Happies. <laughs>